Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jamie, your crafty DIY guy, and guess what? I got a haul! Now, it's not a huge haul. It's not a big haul at all. I did find some new stuff though, and I didn't buy everything that I saw, so be sure to tune in to the end of the video because there's a couple new things. It's not a ton of stuff, but there's definitely some some stuff. I'm trying to, trying to be on a budget, and uh, I don't do budgets very well. So, Let's just jump into it, okay? First thing we're gonna start off with is my fiddle faddle. Yep, I love me some fiddle faddle. So I picked it up while I was there tonight. <laughs> huh. um. I'm, I'm doing a dramatic moment so I can swallow this piece of popcorn. Have you guys seen these yet? How cute are these? They're just like little home decor pieces and they're succulents. And I'm kind of mad at Dollar Tree because I was gonna do something like this with some Jenga wood blocks. But uh, now I don't have to. But what I loved about these is I feel like you could probably take these apart pretty easily. But seriously, how cute are they? And then they had them in this white wash. And then they also had them in uh, uh, like a black color, like a charcoal color. So I thought those were pretty cool. Um, Y'all, I'm blown away. So this little love heart, I have seen this thing without realizing what I've been seeing. And then I finally saw a YouTuber, um, I think it was Glue Guns and Roses, who's Megan, who's like one of my favorite people in the world. It may not have been her though. I need to start remembering who it was. Y'all, I had been seeing like these three dimensional looking hearts that look like a grid that people were doing. And I was just thinking to myself like, Holy crap, how are they making those things? Those are so amazing. They just take this glitter stuff off of these things and the grate's already there. Like, see, you just take this off and the grate's there. And I learned that by watching a YouTube video today. So I'm gonna do something with this because I have a guest room now in my house because my roommate finally went, oh boy, it's a good thing. And um, now that I've got a guest room, a formalized, beautiful guest room that doesn't have a bunch of drama with it, I have got a farmhouse kind of thing going on in there because it's a purple room and it's kind of girly and, you know, it, it just kind of works really well with some of the stuff that I've been making. And so now I can do this. But I was super excited when I saw this and it was, I think it was the only one that was left. But then I saw this and I've not seen this before. Have you guys seen this version? But look, it's the same little grates. So I think that would be super, super adorable to do something with the three little ones too. Farmhousey. And I just happened to get some ribbon that I bought at, uh, I bought it on Amazon. Um, it, it's down there, but I don't wanna go down there cause you'll see my bald spot if I go off camera, <laughs> if I go that low. Um, but it's, it's twine and it looks like, you know, like regular like raffia or twine, but it's got a green vine wrapped around it. And if these forms were painted white and then you wove that, it'd be so pretty. So I'm super stoked about that. Um, I found this new sign. This one says, bless our home. But what was cool about this, or bless our nest, but what was cool about these is I actually had these in about three other different styles. So I did a quick video shot of the three different styles. I almost bought all three, but then it's like, all right, draw it back some, reel it back in. And I thought that this was super cute. And it goes with the other bless your nest or bless our nest sign that I have in the hallway. Um, I'm probably gonna upcycle this into something else because it's kind of a perfect shape. And none of this is raised. There's no raised anything on here so it's gonna be nice and smooth so it's kind of perfect for a, a video haul um another thing i got was this new sign check this out haven't seen that one before it says there is no place like home i think it's adorable personally i think it needs some like ruby red slippers a little bit of color and what's cool about it is that this home sign is actually metal and it's got like a little foamy back on it that's got it stuck to the board. So it'll come off of there super easy. But how cute is that, right? The other thing I found, dun 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 dun, the home sign. <laughs> I 
I'm really stoked about this. Now, there's only one flaw with mine, and again, it was the only one that had. But I can glue that, and I'm probably gonna end up taking it apart anyway. Um, Megan from Glue Guns and Roses did a really, really cute, uh, like, uh, beaded wood tassel kind of a thing, and she used, um, where is it? She used, like, these hearts and then these on it, and it, it definitely inspired me to do something similar. Um, so, I'm, I'm gonna do it. And then I found the hearts, too, so I was excited about that. Um, I got some floral tape because I feel like I always need that, and this is just kind of stocking up the supplies at home. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen these emergency candles yet or not, but I'm kind of obsessed with them because... They're very, very versatile. And what I love about them is, see this stand that they come with? Think about that alone, right? You can use that just by itself in so many projects. And I think the plunger will go in that. The rod, rather, that they sell at Dollar Tree. So you could use that for like a closet rod. I, I feel like you could use it for a lot of different stuff. And I mean, obviously the candle itself is great, so why not? These are emergency candles um, and they have up to 50 hours of light total. So I thought that was pretty cool even to just have, you know, in your home for emergencies. Winter is here and we get ice storms in Atlanta, so you never know. Um, I also grabbed some electrical tape because I am out. So that's just another stocking the, the home. Um, puffy red heart, this is for my sister. She had found the pink ones, but she didn't have the red ones. so. I called her immediately and said, they have them. And uh, she got, she's getting them. This is new glassware that Dollar Tree has. Check that out. It's like raised bubbles. Very cool, right? It's, it, think about too, if you paint this, if you paint this white and then you distress it, like it's kind of a perfect little vase for, I think you just saw my bald spot, for some lavender or something. And this lavender actually was also new that I found at Dollar Tree. Now they, they they had two different types of lavender. They had one that was kind of muted and, and toned out and then they had this one. And the muted one was almost kind of plasticky feeling but this is soft and spongy. As a matter of fact, some of the, the lavender petals are even coming off. So like, I think that's, you can't even see that, there it is. Like, I mean, I think they stepped up the lavender pretty well. And so this is gonna go really cute on the, um, in the farmhouse bedroom that I've kind of already got going. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep those flowers in there or not, but I'll figure out something. Oh, and then the other thing I almost forgot. These are, these are really cool. These great candle holders. Now, I have not been able to find these at any of my stores yet, so I was pretty stoked to see these. Um, and I bought six of them because I had this vision of doing these giant oversized candlesticks on my mantle. And I think if I glued three of these on top of each other, that would be amazing, right? And it looks really good too. And I think I could even do like a faux wood treatment or something maybe on them, we'll see. And then I bought three other ones to be able to have, so three stack, a two stack, and then a single stack. So I'm excited about those too. And then again, I got my fiddle faddle still. So that's my haul, not, not a huge one but definitely a good one. I'm going to find those, those 3D wreath rings. I'm going to, I'm going to, I've let the ladies know at my, my little favorite store that um, I'm on the hunt and hopefully they'll save me some. And if not, that's okay too. Um, but I highly encourage all of you to make friends with the Dollar Tree Associates, <laughs> especially if you're in a store a whole lot, you know, show them your blog, show them the stuff you're doing because they, they get excited too. And um, anyway, that's my haul. I'm going to eat my popcorn. Bye you guys. <laughs> Bye-bye.